Salute to you. Y'all know what it is, man. It's your boy Mo 804. I'm a nice to do that. Wait, oh, oh. I'm out here in PA right now, just wrapping up uh, Memorial Day weekend. We've been chilling, been parked for a few days, did a few hotels, stayed in the truck a few days, because one, a lot of loads popping over the weekend. But y'all know how that kind of thing go. So I'm about to do me a quick pre-trip on the truck, uh, check a few things, kick a few tires, that sort of thing. And uh, I guess I'll go ahead and reveal what engine I got in this truck. A lot of people probably already feel like they know or think they know or probably might don't even care too much, but it is what it is. Oh man, but it's a beautiful day today. Like I said, I'm out here in PA right now, not too far outside of Philly. So, you know, it's, it's, it's all right. A little windy slightly, but not too, too bad for real. For real. It ain't too bad, man. But yeah, we've been running uh, pretty well, but have have had a few hiccups in within that. So you know, everything is not perfect, far from it. But um, you know, we've we've been making the best of it. Not trying to do too much, but you know, um, we'll probably make another video by the time I knock this out and we get back in the truck. If we don't have a lot popping. Uh, kind of just detailing some of the transition, how it happened so fast. Because for real, for real, it happened a lot faster than we wanted it to or that we even perceived that it would. But once it got cranked up, it really won't no stopping it. So, like I said, it's, 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 it is what it is, man. But yeah, a lot of people have been asking about the truck. You know, how's it been doing? How's it been running? You know, for the most part, man, the truck's been doing great. Uh, no real issues at all. Um, I haven't um, washed it. You know, I was calling myself um, making it pay its dues before I really spent any money in the beautification of it. You know, I didn't even go, I didn't even add any any uh, hub covers to it. Nowhere, like I said, I haven't even washed the truck, so I've really been neglecting it on the, on the beauty, beauty side of it all. But, you know, it's been serving purpose, man. You know, it's been running, you know, um, no real hiccups. I really can't complain. But like I said, a lot of people have been curious to know what engine is in the truck and those sort of things. And I kind of was a little complacent on putting a lot of the info out because, you know, once you start saying what's what, then you get more questions behind that. And then that alludes to more questions and blah, 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 and so forth and so on. So, you know. I kind of was like, screw all that. I ain't even trying to deal with none of the headache of it or have to answer nothing. But it is what it is, man. Like I said, it's been a few weeks now. We've been running it and it's held its own for me. So I can't really trip off that. So um, I guess there ain't no more talking necessary. Boom. <laughs> I got a pet car here, man. Uh, I know a lot of people that's not in the trucks probably don't know. Or probably not even have too much care for what a pet car is or Cummins or D15 or D13 or any of that kind of stuff. I really wouldn't care one way or another. But yeah, man, this is a pet car in here. I, I was a little skeptical of a pet car in the beginning. Well, a little skeptical of a pet car, period. And I think just from, you know, seeing other truckers talk about him or just hearing the name uh, throughout the years of trucking, you know, I've heard a lot of, I should say bad, you know, in regards to pet car, you know, how they don't compare to this other engine or that, you know, whatever. So, you know, in my head, I was kind of leery, like I said, of a pet car engine. I can't front, you know, I've driven uh, a couple Cummings, before this one, um, the DD15, that's in the uh, Freightliners, uh, D13s inside of Volvos. So I had actually never driven a truck with a pet car engine in it. So I really didn't know what to expect, what the differences would be. 
you know, I knew visually, I guess, that it was black versus red that's in the Cummins. You know, I'm sure it was a few other different things, but I didn't really know, no, what would be what with it. So, you know, um, but like I said, after driving it and, and really just taking it in, it, it, it's all right, man. You know what I mean? I, I do notice that it's not as powerful as the Cummins. You know, when I was doing that short stint company driving, you know, I had a Cummins. And then when I first started leasing with Swift, I drove a few uh, Kenworths with them and they had Cummins also. So that's all I've really ever known when driving uh, T680s. And like I said, I had the Volvo engine in the Volvos and Detroit's inside of a uh, Freightliner. So pack car, I just never had an opportunity to drive one. And I can say, I can't front, I do think the uh, Cummings is a lot stronger, more powerful of an engine to me. Um, it's, it's a lot louder of an engine. I think this pack car is a lot more quiet, a lot less rattle. You know, it's, it seems to be a lot more tamed and not as violent of an engine uh, as, as the uh, Cummings is. But with that being said, you know, I ain't out here trying to race nobody. I ain't out here trying to do nothing extra. You know, I'm just trying to get from point A to point B safely, you know, and this engine has done that for me so far. Like I said, with no hiccups, no issues. So I ain't mad at that at all. Um, but like I said, I have noticed a difference in power that goes without saying. Um, I think this is like a 400 horsepower, maybe four and a quarter, something like that. But I definitely noticed a difference with it um, versus the Cummins engine. But like I said, it's, it's taking me where we needed to go. Um, you know, I'm not fearful to climb a hill with it. I'm not fearful to pull, you know, any of the weight that I I'm required to pull. So it, it works fine for me, man. So like I said, I haven't had a chance to wash the truck, really clean it up or anything. I took it from what I had when I first got it and hit the road with it. So you know, I guess I can do a detail on the engine itself, a wash on the truck itself. You know, but other than that, man, you know, it's been doing what I needed to do. So just wanted to come on, man, real quick, you know, let it be known what it is that your boy driving. Like I said, I know a lot of people be curious to stuff like this. Some people don't care. But I mean, undercarriage wise, and just ultimately, you know, she's clean, man. You know, no drips, no oil leaks, no type of fuel leaks at all. You know, she's really been performing well. So, you know, and this is my first introduction to Pat Car. You know, so far, you know, I don't have no knock on them. The only thing I can say, like I said, is I do notice a difference in power. But that is what it is also. Uh, this truck came with brand new tires. So I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with that. Now they're, they're off brand, you know, I'm, I'm used to running, like I said, company trucks or lease trucks through megas, mega carriers. So, you know, I've always ran Bridgestone drives and, and, and Michelin steers. And this brand is called a Road Lux. So I don't know anything about them. But, you know, they serve purpose also. So a Road Lux on my steers and Iron Man uh, drives. But I couldn't be mad at that, you know. Coming with brand new tires on the truck. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. You know, if they perform halfway decently and, and give me a good amount of mileage and wear on them, who knows, I may reinvest in you know, some of these same brands again. But you know, for the most part, I wanna replace these just cause I don't like how they look. I don't like the rust with it. So once I get back home in a few weeks, well, I really got some time to put into, you know, making some major changes or upgrades. 
you know, I probably, probably will go ahead and do that. But yeah, man, it's the pack car, bro. I know some of y'all probably been zooming in, trying to catch it out or whatever. So there you go. <laughs> I know how some people can get. But yeah, man, you know, it's a 2016. Uh, this truck had mid 300,000 miles on it. So I had to jump on it, but we'll give y'all the whole breakdown, the whole story on how we went about getting it, how it just started to snowball and happen for us so quick that we technically wasn't even prepared. You know, not so much monetarily, we just wasn't prepared as far as just what our plans was and, and how they were moving or how it was being executed. But like I said, once it started flowing, it was flowing. And, and, and we kept it moving so be on the lookout for that video we'll tell that whole story and break that whole thing down of just how we came about um, getting this truck and the blessings that, that were within that so yeah man y'all know what it is it's your boy Moedo Foe man this is Married to the Miles uh, like share subscribe appreciate everybody who's been rocking with us uh, this is a new color too this is not the red, this is like a maroon burgundy color. And also went with the uh, with the white patch on this particular one. So, like I said, I appreciate it for everybody who's been rocking with us. Been copping Married to the Miles gear, whether it's shirts or hats, cups, or anything else that we come out with in the future. So, I got a few things bubbling right now, so y'all will see that soon enough. But yeah, man, we appreciate y'all. Y'all know what it is. We out here with it. Uh, team trucking couple we doing what we do out here learning still um, after five years in the game still learning <clears throat> but it is what it is man so like share subscribe all that good stuff and it's your boy more to four man we gone pat car daddy you did and proud of it i don't know operator man who would have thunk it you wouldn't have but it's all good yo Holla at y'all. Appreciate the love, and we gone. You dig? Hey.